what a bit on his my yard here. Uh, sad news for all those involved with WWE games, to be honest, because THQ San Diego is closing, and that means the people that made WWE All Stars are now out of a job. This is partly because, well, I'm saying partly, it's pretty much because UFC license now belongs to EA. EA bought the rights off of THQ. Yeah, and this is the knock-on effect of that. And I agree with pretty much every other journalist in saying that the news of them being fired or the the whole studio closing is because of E3 and it's so you can get buried under loads of trailers and whatever else, which annoys me to no end because it's it was a great studio. I have always stated that WWE All Star is probably the greatest wrestling game in the last ten years, I and mean, then that is not an understatement in the slightest. It has the superior gaming engine. Um, that TNA Impact had, but WWE All Stars took that whole engine and made it an arcade game where hit detection was awesome. You could do proper double team moves and combos together, and it was fantastic. You've seen my 25 Ways to videos without the RKO and all that. The spear, Sweet Chim Music, the DDT, the Big Show Punch, the Macho Man. Um, ten elbow drops, um, ten elbow drop salute, pretty much. That was my. Um, I always think my best ever video I've ever made because it had a lot of emotion running on it because it was just when Macho Man had passed away, and it was a tribute to him. Now, what happens to the rest of the THQ San Diego guys? Because obviously they're now out of jobs. Now THQ have released a statement saying they will try and get anyone who's out of the job now another job within THQ themselves or with EA. Hopefully um, they do get jobs because it, it annoys me uh, because it was a great studio. There's no idea if they were making All Stars 2 or not. They probably weren't and they were probably focusing on the new UFC game but it, it was, All Stars 2 would have been awesome to have weapons and more combos and being able to combo finishes together so you could hit the super kick and then cut, put it straight into the pedigree and all that greatness. But we don't get to see one. And I doubt we'll see another All-Stars ever again, to be honest, unless another publisher brings it up because I know THQ are highly unlikely going to do it because they're not going to choose a different studio to produce the game. When you make a sequel you always use the same studio unless you're really stupid, or the studio that made the first game did an utter shambles of it. Well, All Stars had updates, numerous updates, to fix game balance issues, which, quite frankly, there were a lot of game balance issues, like Cody Rhodes' kick, um, where it did infinite damage pretty much. You could combo it again and again, and it couldn't be reversed. And that was fixed. Um, Unfortunately, the last map pack, or DLC pack, sorry, uh, had Mark Henry. Mark Henry was, well, quite frankly, just a boss and was overpowering as hell, but because it was last DLC, they didn't be able to update it. Uh, because he could just hit, hit anything and kill you. Take a bar and a half of health off in one combo. It was just insane. But it was still a fantastic game. I I applaud you to check out 25 ways to hit the RKO on Machinima Sports. It is one of the, it's in the top 10, close to the top 5 videos of all time on the channel now. It, so please check it out, it's awesome. Uh, I don't know what else to say, It's it was an awesome, awesome game. The, the studio had passion, without a doubt, to make this, the games good, not just to rush the game out. They took their time, mostly to get the game and the DLC out and I applaud them for that. So leave a like guys to show your support to all those that are affected by this sad news um, and show your support for them because THQ, I know they're trying to save money, do cutbacks, there's no real, there's supposedly a booth at E3 but it's certainly nothing as big as they have done in previous years because they're saving on the costs. So leave your support and show THQ that we will buy your games if it's good and All Stars was one of them. It was a fantastic game. Some people didn't like it but the majority of people loved it and without that it's probably the best arcade wrestling game that has ever been released. Better than WrestleFest in the old 90s.
Yep, indeed it has to be said. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you later with more E3 trailers during the day. Ooh, ooh. Leave a like and subscribe for more WWE games and wrestling goodness.